seems like the road ends here. How should we get across? As a professional trainer, I think you could stand to build up your endurance, Paimon. Professional trainer? Paimon thought you were a warrior from the Collective of Planning. Well, that goes without saying. But I actually work as a sports coach. I provide professional guidance for many of Natland's popular sports. And I don't just mean physical training. I design nutrition plans as well. Ah, so basically no sugar, no soft drinks, no grilled meat. Yeah, yeah, we'll be here all day if you list them out one by one. It's much faster to just focus on... Those guys look familiar. We've fought them before. Let's go. Show no mercy. Solidify. Illusion shattered. Get out of here. Out of the way. Let's dance. Stabilize. The ghost seems really high up. Yeah! Shine down. Stabilize. Uh, out of the way. How the show begin? Yeah.
stretch. We just need to climb up, and we'll be there. Nothing to it. Easy for you to say. Must be the entrance the Pyro Archon told us about. The one ripped open by the Abyss. Yes. There's something in the depths of this place that feels familiar, yet also foreign. We actually have to go in there? Okay, Paimon just needs to psych herself up. Don't push her through before she's ready! Looks like we made it. This is the Night Kingdom. Oh, it looks so different from what I imagined in the stories. That overflow of energy is probably what trapped Kachina here in the first place. From this point forward, everything we know about the real world no longer applies. Anything can happen here. Paimon's more worried about how we're gonna make it out. We obviously can't go back the way we came. Do you see that patch of light on the ground? It's shining down from that fissure in the sky. Oh yeah, right in front of us. So that's coming from up there? Oh, it's so high up. Did we really fall that far down? Just like I said, our real world knowledge doesn't apply here. We fell all this way yet came out completely unscathed. If this was the real world, we'd have to climb our way back up to the entrance. But here, all we have to do is stand underneath the light and offer a prayer. Th that's it? You really think that little of Paimon? That's not even why Paimon asked! So that means all we need to do is find Kachina and bring her to this location. Exactly. This light is streaming in from the real world. It's a link between the two realms. Hmm... The terrain looks difficult to navigate, and the visibility is not great either. How are we supposed to find Kachina in these conditions? Yeah, these floating black things don't look super friendly either. Those are all manifestations of abyssal power. Be careful. Ghost! A talking ghost! Calm down, I'm here to help. You're the ones who helped Vichama, right? Yes, I'm Vichama's friend, Malko. I was completely lost to this realm until I sensed a mysterious power calling out to me. It's like it was seeking me out, attempting to reassemble the pieces of who I used to be. Of course, it could only do so much. I'm sorry I can only appear before you in this imperfect form. No, we should be the ones apologizing. If the Spirit Speaker Stone hadn't become corrupted by the Abyss, we could have done much more. But we had to destroy it. Otherwise, Vichama and his tribe would have been in danger. Of course. Thank you for protecting him. I never imagined that, even after all these years, he'd still take such a risk for me. Under the power of the stone, it felt like our souls were connected. Turns out even our regrets were exactly the same. Whether in triumph or death, you want your best friend by your side. Exactly. 
That may not be in the cards for us, but it's not too late for you. You're looking for a young girl from the Children of Echoes, right? She's being chased by an embodiment of abyssal power. I'd like to help her while I'm still in this form, so follow me. Be careful. This place has been severely corroded by the Abyss. Chiron didn't realize it had gotten this bad. It's like a seething volcano ready to engulf our world at any moment. Ouch! Quick, get back here. You can't go... Stick close to me. My power will be able to ward off attacks for the time being. We won't be able to keep this up. Let's try another route. This way. It's easy to get lost here. Just stick close. Did you hear that? What? Never mind. It was probably just my imagination. Don't scare Paimon like that! I heard it too. It was a voice from the Abyss. Ah! What did it say? It doesn't matter. It certainly doesn't harbor good intentions. Gina! No, honey! You made it! Looks like our reunion will have to wait until we take care of these monsters! Good idea! Let's go! Caught me a bunch. 
bunch of times. The Wyab's power helped keep me hidden, so I just tried to stay out of sight until you got here. Had a girl. You did so well. And most importantly, you weren't hurt. Should we start heading back then? Actually, I have a request. Will you come visit the Wyab with me? I can't exactly put it into words, but something's wrong with the Ode of Resurrection. And I know it has something to do with the contamination from the Abyss. That was the Pyro Archon's theory as well. Everything we've seen here certainly seems to back it up. In the Night Kingdom, there are six main totem poles representing the Wyab of each tribe. You can think of them like the body of each Wyab. Additional totem poles, like the ones around here, serve as proxies to which the Wyab can extend their consciousness. There are countless proxies scattered around the Night Kingdom. Through them, the Wyab can extend their consciousness over the entire realm and track down souls no matter where they roam. But if a proxy were to become severely contaminated, then a soul could become lost within the Night Kingdom. Judging by the current situation, I don't think we're dealing with just one contaminated proxy. Even if we could drive back the Abyssal power from one of them, that probably wouldn't even put a dent in the problem. Still, we can't just leave the Wyab to suffer. It's protected me this whole time. I agree. We might even manage to draw out the monster that's been hunting Kachina. Getting rid of the monster might slow down the deterioration of the Night Kingdom. Kachina? What's wrong? N nothing. Just a headache. And that voice again, telling me to abandon the Wyab and leave this place. Maybe we really should leave. Kachina's already been here for too long. No, I... I'm fine. I don't plan on listening to that nonsense. I can hold on. Just up ahead. I'll lead the way. Besides, I can still fight, so... Please, help me out a little longer. Listen to me, Kachina. We'll come with you. But that's because we want to help the Wyob. Not because we have something to prove. You don't have anything to prove either. It's okay if you reach your limit. We'll be there for you. All right. The sooner we get this done, the better. We've already come all this way. So we might as well try to get to the bottom of this. Let's go. This way. I'll stay here and try to stall the Abyss Monster. All by yourself? That's too dangerous! It's all right. I may not be as strong as that monster, but I'm definitely more familiar with the area. Besides... I don't have much time left. If you're anything like my friend, I'm sure you're not particularly fond of goodbyes. So go. Achieve your goal. And return to the world where you belong. Thank you for everything. You're a true hero. <laughs> Thank you. No one fights alone. Does your head still hurt? Let me help you walk. I'm fine, I'm fine. You should know I'm made of stronger stuff than that. Right. The contamination is already too severe. It's preventing the Wyab from answering our calls. All right, get ready, everyone. Time to purge the abyssal energy from this place. Careful. We've got company. Already? You really think that puny soul could slow me down? Courage in the face of futility is pure folly. He tried to get in my way, so I disposed of him. You... you killed Nalko? 
he would have dispersed with or without me. Rather than worrying about him, I would urge you to focus on yourself. You may have defeated others of my kind in the past, but underestimate me now, and it will be to your peril. No, the power of the Abyss is intoxicating. The destruction it seeks captivates like a masterful work of art. I strive only for the opportunity to see it up close. I thought this naive little girl was an exception, but it turns out humanity is full of lambs willing to offer themselves up to the slaughter. That is the tragedy of your short lives. You understand nothing of all-encompassing power. Ancient names, pride, friendship, all empty ideas invented to give you a false sense of self-worth. They possess no power at all. The Pyro Archon created those grandiose ideals out of pure selfishness. Anything to avoid sharing power. Anything to avoid handing over the primordial gift to ordinary people like you. Don't believe me? Then ask yourself, why is the Pyro Archon strong beyond measure, while you, Kachina, remain so pathetically weak? I... I... Kachina! Give me your hand. Feel that? I'm right here next to you. Thanks, Moalani. You're right. I have nothing to fear. Because I'm not alone anymore! <laughs> You're right. Maybe comforting ideals don't have any power. But you also couldn't be more wrong. You've never had to work for your own strength, so you will never understand the true source of our power! What?! The courage we have to stand before you and not back down? It comes from our friendship. The power lies not in the ideal itself, but in our commitment to upholding that ideal, and in our decision to stand together and fight! Well said! Let's go, Kachina. It shouldn't take more than two of us to handle an enemy like this. Sorry in advance, but you... You deserve what's coming to you! There aren't many in Natlan who can beat us when we're together. It's time he got a taste of that kind of power. what he gets for underestimating you two. Fantastic work, Kachina. Absolutely fantastic. This makes me so... unbelievably happy. I'm happy too, Moalani. Together we really are unstoppable. <laughs> huh? What's happening?
My ancient name is glowing? But I thought I didn't bring it with me. It's probably a projection from the real world. But that doesn't explain why it's glowing all of a sudden. Wait, does that mean you're... That was a bold move. Diving headfirst into the fire to save your friend. Especially in a place so overrun with abyssal corruption. Still, seeing you pull it off <laughs> was really something. Everything you said was exactly right. As isolated individuals, we stand no chance against the power of the Abyss. It took years worth of scars and lots of unnecessary suffering for me to understand that for myself. The Pyro Archon's plan will unite us as one. Everyone has a part to play. Only then will we have the power to defeat the strongest of foes. Who are you? Tupac, a warrior from the people of the Springs. I fought against the Abyss during the invasion 500 years ago. I've heard that name before. You were the giant who saved all of Natlan. Since you were able to awaken my words from your ancient name, that means you have fully embodied the aspirations of the Wyub. Under the name Umoja, you shall unite the tribes and save Natlan from its impending doom. Me? As long as blood still runs through your veins, even the tiniest spark of steel against stone can ignite a flame. Its blaze will become one with our vision for Natlan. Even amid everlasting darkness, our bonds remain eternal. new so that's what happened what do you mean did you just figure something out 500 years ago they foresaw the very crisis we're facing now efforts to save natland started all the way back then we can go over the details once we get back we shouldn't linger here longer than we have to i know bits and pieces but i had no idea muolani was also part of the plan this sounds like something that's going to need a lot of explaining. Let's focus on saving the Wyub first. Okay, that should be enough. Why up? Why up? Can you hear me? I hear your voice, Kachina, my dear child. Great. Well then, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye. I just wanted to make sure you were okay before we leave, but we can't afford to stay here any longer. I was going to ask why you bestowed an ancient name upon someone like me, but it's okay. I'll keep searching within myself for the answer. I'll never stop trying to improve my strength. One day, I'll live up to the hero you saw in me. You are already an outstanding child in my eyes, Kachina. No matter what happens. Huh? You are all my most beloved children. It has always been my honor to protect and nurture you. Your ancient name is just that. A name. 
Much like your parents chose to name you Kachina, I also gave you a name, but it need not define you. Focus on who you want to be. You are already worthy of your name. Now, you need only devote yourself to becoming a better you. The story of your ancient name is for you to continue. Just like your parents, my love for you will never change. No matter what the future holds. <sighs> Thank you, I am... It gladdens me to see the Pyro Archon's plan move another step towards completion. But it is time for you to leave this place. The situation here is getting worse. Go now, my children. Save Natlan on behalf of all you hold dear. I know we've never met before, Wyab, but I just wanted to say thank you for encouraging Kachina. It was exactly what she needed to hear. Whoa! What's going on? An earthquake? We're out of time. It's the power of the abyss. Quick, we need to run! It's a Sealy! The Sealy opened the way for us! You've done well. Now come home. We're back! The Pyro Archon saved us. But... she's not here. She's still in the Speaker's Chamber. What we saw in the Night Kingdom was just her consciousness. So you're saying her consciousness did all that? Every great display of power comes at a price. <coughs> you must feel terrible, Kachina. Just hold on. We'll get you to a doctor soon. Let's get back to the stadium. The Pyro Archon said she'd have a doctor waiting for us. I recommend getting a full checkup, just to make sure no damage gets left behind. Hi, Mom feels okay. What about you, Traveler? 
Right. You always seem to do pretty well against the Abyss. Let's get going. We need to share what we learned in the Night Kingdom as well. Right. The Wyatt mentioned something about the Pyro Archon's plan. What is it exactly? I'll let her explain everything. We're all a part of the plan now. Every move we make from here on out will decide Natlin's ultimate fate.